Hello everyone. We have to be very careful on how we treat people. Even for myself, I am not saying I am perfect. I am not saying I do everything right. But at the same time, I am constantly thinking if I am doing the right thing, constantly, because I believe there are consequences when you treat folks wrong. Let's go to Proverbs. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 17, verse 13. Whoso rewardeth evil for good, evil shall not depart from his house. Did you see that? It doesn't matter how rich you are. It doesn't matter how smart you are. You can't go around treating people wrongly. Let's say I am very, very poor, which I am not rich. Let's say there is a person that I help so much. Or let's say I am not poor, but let me say, let's say that I help a person so much do so much for that person or people and the the person that i help the person that i help i mean let's say that person is mean rude like cusses at me beats me up uh cut my tires, uh, go behind my back and lie and make people believe I am a horrible person, uh, get me fired at my job, uh, breaks into my house and do this and that. But I am good or was good to that person. What do you believe is going to happen to that person? Whoso rewardeth evil for good, evil should not depart from his house. People may wonder, like Uncle Kev, why do so many bad things happen to me? And you have to ask yourself, how is your behavior? How do you treat people? Are you mean to the people that do well for you? When someone nice comes in your life, do you take advantage of that person? I believe there is a saying I forget the exact words, but it's somewhere like if you are too nice or if you are too kind, people will see you as uh, a lick or like a person to take advantage of. I don't know the exact saying. Even if you become successful in taking advantage of another person, you are not going to get away with it. You are not. Um, let me tell you a story. There is a place I used to work at, and I am not sitting here trying to make myself look perfect. I am not, but there is a place I used to work at 
and um, I believe I used to speak about God to some people there. And there was a guy that would disagree with me. And I'm not all the way sure, but maybe we used to bump heads because I used to speak about God, I guess. Um, I'm not all the way sure. Anyways, I used to, um, well, I helped that person in a way more than one time, which I don't want to say because I don't want my, re my reward to be praise from people. I don't really remember how many times I helped that person. Maybe, I don't know. And that guy would, what is a good word to say it? That guy would argue with me about God and stuff like that. Like, It was so long ago, so I don't remember some things, but I believe that person would argue with me so much and uh, I think gave me a hard time, even though I helped that person more than one time. And I can't say soon after that, but maybe months or something after those times, I guess. Uh, one day I did not see him. And I learned that person got fired. Now, can I say that, well, that person got fired because of how he was reacting toward me? I can't say it, I can't say yes, exactly, but what came to my mind those years ago, I believe what came to my mind, I believe that person got fired because how he was treating me. In the past, you may look at me now and you may think that Uncle Kev you know, you are a good guy. You know, you don't really do much of anything wrong and blah, 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 blah. But let me say this. Back in the past, I did so many things wrong. And I regret all of it. I truly do. There were times where back to back to back, bad things would happen to me. And I would think back then, at a certain time back then, I would think, well, that is life. That is how life is, you know, um, bad things happen to people, whatever. But I believe at times, it was strange to me. I'm, I'm thinking like, how is it? Like back to back to back to back, these bad things are happening to me. And then as time passed by, I believe I started to learn you reap what you sow. So back then, I was not as kind as I am now. I was not as caring as I am now either. But uh, back then, I used to think in a different way. You know, in, in a sense, get what you want. Like what feels good to you, in a general sense, do it. Like, uh, if you hurt people along the way, 
so be it. In a way, I kind of thought in that way, and it caused me so much trouble. So much trouble. Back in my past, I would get ill so much. Yes, I was doing some things I wanted to do that were bad, but if you look at the whole picture, it was not worth it. I believe many bad things happened to me because how I treated some people. Even after all these years, I still think about one particular person that I treated pretty badly. There is a possibility I am still going through some things because of what I did back in the past. I am here to tell you what you do comes back to you. One of the reasons why I am so determined to live for God, one of the reasons why I will never turn my back on God again is because I know not 100%, but I know doing things in my own way doesn't work. Why? Because I tried so many times. Doing things in the godly way is the best. Not to say that I am 100% perfect at it. You know, some people may call me stupid or dumb like Kevin, uh, why would you continue to help a person that betrayed you? Why would you give your time to a person that hates you? Why would you continue to blah, 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 blah? Let me tell you this. As I said, I am not sitting here thinking of myself to be perfect and have no flaws. But much of the time, when something happens, I think of what I should do or the way that I should react according to the Bible. And let me say, I don't always choose the right thing. Sometimes I mess up. But I really, 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 really try to think of, okay, what does the Bible say according to what I am going through now? What should I say? What should I do? How should I react according to the Bible? And some people may think that you are dumb, that you are silly because you don't fight back or cuss back or get revenge or try to get even and stuff like that. They may see you as very soft and like a punk or like a, a, a cushion, a pen cushion or something like that. Let those people think whatever they want. What you see on earth, if I am saying this right, the spiritual controls it. So if God's rules control existence, what's more important? People's thoughts and feelings or God's words? Let's go back to it again. Whoso rewardeth evil for good, evil should not depart from his house. I believe some people may go to churches or these prophetic churches and a pastor or a teacher may say, if you want these curses to be broken off of your life, sow a seed give us $100 or something or whatever amount. And how can 
a curse be broken off by giving your church leader money when the curse is on you because of bad behavior? If a curse is on you because of bad behavior, how can money dissolve it, if that makes any sense? Should you give money to the poor? Of course. But at the same time, giving money is not the only way you can get blessed. If you are being punished because of your bad attitude or your bad words or your bad behavior, if you continue on that, how can money take away the punishment that is on you because of how you are, if that makes any sense. Like if you want things to be better for you, change the way you are. And this is one of the reasons why I believe some churches need to be shut down because I think some churches are not really telling the truth. I believe many people are having a hard time because of the way they are. Did you all see that verse? Let's go to it. Whosoever, whosoever, whoso rewardeth evil for good, evil shall not depart from his house. So this is not a money thing. This is a behavior thing right let me say it like this living for god is not about your church attendance living for god is about you it's about you changing from how you are to be more like Jesus Christ. Yes, you should go to a good church to learn more about God, yes. But simply just going to church and choosing not to change doesn't make you holy. We have to practice in treating people rightly. We can't, you know, it, I understand to a point like uh, if you are a depressed person, if you are a very unhappy person, it may irritate you to see other people happy. Like you may feel very down and you may see other people laughing, having fun, telling jokes. And you may think inside of your mind, like, what is there to be happy? So you seeing them happy may, like, make you angry. Like, how dare they be happy to where you may start hating a person or disliking a happy person. And... You have to understand, if you are that way, that is very demonic. Very demonic. But um, let me stop here, though. May God bless us.